In this video, we will add icons to our website. So uh, we'll just add a couple icons so that you can go ahead and add more to your application just to show you how to add it. But before I add the icons, I want to exchange this. I want the add comment button to be above the list of comment, to be below the list of comments. So uh, we will go to our code and uh, we'll look for in the shoulder blade, we'll, this item, we'll put it above the add comment. I've copied it and uh, this is the form that adds new comment and uh, what I can do is to put it above and uh, we go back and refresh once the refresh is done we'll see that it's now above so you can see recent comments and then uh, you can add your own new comments now the next thing we're gonna do is to add new icons to add a new icon to your application what you would do is to visit a website called fontawesome.io then slash icons or you visit just fontawesome.io then click on icons then you, see, you come down here you'll see a whole lot of um, icons to add thousands of icons you can add on your website now for you to first add the icons to your website you need to add uh, you get to get them started and you need to add their SDK to your your platform so they will have to email you the SDK so you do it enter your email here say send my font or some um, embed code so they'll send you an SDK link from then on you can add your font or some now they have sent it I have to go and check my email and uh, I will not open my email for you but I'll copy it and show you so as you can see the embed code here the font or some embed code so if i can just copy it i will go and put it inside my laravel code i'll just right click and copy and then um that's all we'll get back to our code get to the resources views we're looking for our app.blade this is the code we're looking for the file app.blade then in the head section somewhere here we we put it uh, otherwise you can just put yours at the the bottom somewhere here just before the closing body tag depending on where you want to put yours I want mine to be in the head so the next thing we're gonna do is to go back to font or some sites go and click on icons and then we'll start adding icons so the first icon we want to add is um, icon for companies so I wouldn't know what um, that would be but we can just search for a company here and see whether we can see any icon so company uh, there is a company and that that sounds cool so we'll just look at um, we we'll click on it and then you copy the code we go and paste it in our navigation Navigation is inside the app.blade. This is our navigation code inside our app.blade. We're looking for companies. So this is the companies. We will paste it and give a little space. I'll hit the space key, space bar on my keyboard. Also give a little space between the icon and the lettering. So if we go back and we refresh, give your eye here. When we refresh, we reload. As you can see our company now has an icon so i can do the same thing the same process for projects and uh, not just projects i'll do the same thing for all our links here all the menu and then uh right here do the same thing for every key place in our application we can just add um icons all right so i'll just do for this video i'll just cover for this top and then you can figure out the rest by yourself so we'll go here and we'll look for project sometimes what you're looking for will not be available directly uh, but you can search for others so i can just look for work instead of project so inside project and work i'm saying briefcase i think briefcase is okay so if i go to our, key, our, our, our project i'll just click on 
paste what I had before, but I'll change building to briefcase. Briefcase. And that feels cool, so we'll just test refresh. And that sounds cool. We now have briefcase. So um, in the next video, we'll, we'll, by, the, by the time we start the next video, I would have added uh, more icons. So just take your time and add all the cool icons to your application. And just search for any icon here. If you can't find the direct one, uh, you look for the alternative. All right, so um, this is just for task tasks. So I'll just go and paste. If you observe, and you see that they look alike except for the name. The only thing that changes is the name. So I will just um, do a tasks here. Tasks. And we're good to go. Refresh. Oops. Refresh. Keep your eye on the tasks. And... Um, that's it. See you in the next video where we sort out other things.